program at the Decatur Correctional Center seeks to give incarcerated mothers the chance to stay with their child. The program is celebrating 10 years. Alyssa Paldo spoke with a local mom involved in that program. Alyssa joins us now with more. Alyssa. Yeah, Paul and Lauren, pregnant incarcerated women with less than two years on their sentence can qualify for this program. Their babies are born behind bars and live with them while they're locked up. Although it's an untraditional start to life, it's helping mothers bond with their children. I see you looking. I see you looking. Little Stella enjoys tummy time and playing with her toys. She's starting to crawl like a typical six month old. But Stella's start to life is anything but typical. She's living behind bars with her mom. Right before I got locked up, I was bad. I was homeless. I had given up on my kids for a guy. Stella's mom, 28-year-old Carol Aris from Tazewell County, found herself battling addiction and pregnant with her fourth child when she was incarcerated. I just let addiction take over my life. And then once I got into trouble, I got here. And I have completely turned myself around. Eris is now part of the Mothers and Babies program at the Decatur Correctional Center, along with five other mothers. I'm learning how to do it on my own, not have to. I'm learning how to take responsibility of her and actually be her mother. Warden Shalif Hansbro has seen 80 mothers and their children come through the program with an 80% success rate. Only 15 have returned to custody. If there's going to be anything that is going to keep mothers from coming back to prison is going to be their children. One of those mothers is Kaisha Shivers. After four trips to prison, her son Corey was born into the program. They've been out since 2015. She now lives in Peoria and holds a job. This mother's motivation, her children. Being in that hospital room, no family, no anything by myself, just me and my child, it was just like, okay, this is it. It's time now, it's time to let go grow up, move forward, and set a foundation for my, my kids. Eris hoping for the same for herself and Stella when they get out in June. When I go home, I know now I want to be focused on my kids. I want to be there for my children. Now the program is budget neutral, meaning all of the costs to care for the babies come from community and family donations. Back to you.